Uh, let's see here. As we keep on scrolling down the chat right here, we've got, uh, let's see here, Sergeant Nimbo. Did we do this one? Yeah, we did Sergeant Nimbo already. So next we're going to go into Rusty Graffiti Reviews. Rusty Graffiti Reviews says that they do bi-weekly, blah, 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 bi-weekly content They've been on YouTube for less than a year. Um, they do reviewing graffiti supplies, spray paint reviews, and other graffiti-related content. I just want to pause for a second. And I want to say, and I'll mention this from time to time, but I just want to say that I absolutely love being somebody that helps YouTube content creators because it really opens me up to channels that I would have never even thought about existing. Like this one right here, reviewing supplies for graffiti and spray paint reviews and uh, and just like graffiti related stuff. Like that's epic. I absolutely love that just because it's so unique. And if I didn't do this type of content, unless I made graffiti, um, then, you know, I probably wouldn't have ever even known that type of channel existed. So it's just a really unique, um, you know, opportunity that I get to be introduced to, you know, a bunch of different types of content. So like here, as an example, I'm actually going to put this one up in my browser because I just want to check this channel out later, like after the live stream. Um, so I'm going to put it here and I'm just going to click on something so that it can be my watch history. Make sure I turn it down so nothing plays here. There we go. So that'll be my watch history so that I can go back and check it out later. But what an awesome, awesome concept. Absolutely love it. Okay. So next up um, for actually answering this question, we have to share my 25, um, per, uh, 25 plus years of knowledge for a younger or older generation to not make the same mistakes I did coming up as the goal of the channel. And the question is, first off, respect to you, Nick, for always helping the community to get better and better. Um, if I have permission to use music from personal friends, but the music is also on YouTube, what steps are needed if I want to later get those videos monetized? So monetized or not, um, you want to make sure that you get a license for everything that you're using on your YouTube channel. If you're using graphics, if you're using um, images that you're getting from like, or uh, videos that you're getting from stock sites, if you're using stock music, um, if you're using music from friends, you wanna make sure that you get written permission um, or a downloadable license that you can present to YouTube in the event that you end up in a, with a copyright claim or a copyright strike on your channel. And the reason for this is because you need something to dispute with. And when you have that license, you can say, hey, I've got the license for that. And then, you know, and then you're good because then the copyright owner knows that you have that. So the only problem that you would possibly run into in your case would be if your friend ended up having the, um, well, actually already being in YouTube system, it will come up in their copyright claim area on their YouTube channel. And as long as they know it's you and all that stuff, they're not going to hit you anyway. But if they upload to something like CD Baby, as an example, and CD Baby is in the, the, the content ID system inside of YouTube. So when that happens, then you could get a, com, a, a claim from CD Baby, not from your buddy. So having that license would let CD Baby know that you have permission to use it from your buddy. So personally, I, like, I would try to limit that type of thing as much as possible but if you're just trying to like you know bring more attention to your buddy and their what it is they're doing with their music um then make sure that you get everything in writing um and you get like a legit license to be able to use that music in your videos 